Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Now, this particular audio message is for those who we need to be in what we call corporate prayer. In other words, group prayer. Um, This is the sort of thing that at churches you will come across where there is corporate worship. That means that everybody is worshiping together, right? So even on a channel like this, There is group prayer, and some of you all have been very bold in terms of putting in the comments your personal issues that you've been dealing with. So if you don't have your real name attached to your YouTube channel or you're not going to be saying anything very private, feel free to leave a comment on what you want me to pray for concerning your family, possibly work, relationships, business, you name it. Okay. Some of you all may not have known this, but I am a certified Sunday school teacher. Um, At this time, my teaching is online. So This is where you can hear the latest audio in terms of what uh, the Lord has downloaded in my spirit to talk to you about. But I felt led to use this particular audio as one that you all can just simply drop prayers in the comment sections. We also have individuals who come through and will pray as well. There have been those who will reply to uh, statements that are made. Uh, I personally will read comments and so forth. So definitely use this time to write what your need is and we're going to pray about it. Okay. The Lord says that. There are those individuals in the network who need prayer for sickness and disease. And we're taking this time out right now, Lord, to acknowledge what they're going through. And we're asking for divine healing. We're asking for individuals to receive your healing. To be able to go to a doctor and say, God has healed me or I feel much better. I pray in Jesus name that those who They know they need surgery. They're fearful of the surgery. I pray, Lord, that they will be given peace of mind. And if it be your will that you would heal them miraculously and that they would not need the surgery. But I know, Lord, that at times we have to go see a doctor or a surgeon, even when we really don't want to, but... Give us the motivation, the courage to go ahead and do what needs to be done so that we can all live a while longer in Jesus name. For individuals who are in need of monies, this is a constant prayer for so many. I know that for years I have prayed that sort of prayer. Debt shows up. Unexpected responsibilities show up. I know that in the past, I had needed surgery. And then, of course, the bills showed up. And so I had to make sure that those bills got paid. But I realized that I had to change my prayer or prayers. And instead of asking for the specific dollar amount, or just asking for money in general, 
I ask the Lord to guide me, to direct me on a concept, an idea, to listen to a teacher who could provide transparency, a step-by-step process on how to make money, things like that. And I noticed that there are results when you pray about concept, concepts, ideas, inventions, and so forth. But then there was another prayer that I prayed. And that one is one where you're expecting increase. You're declaring and decreeing increase. You're trusting and believing God to move on men and women to do what's right. Maybe there's someone who owes you money. Maybe there's a check in the mail that you're waiting on. Maybe there is a holdup with regard to money that should have been in your cash app or your Venmo (laughs) or your Albert or your Google Pay or whatever, because I have links in the description box myself. And so you ask the Lord to provide breakthrough financial breakthrough in Jesus mighty name sometimes all it takes is a seed somebody's blessing is held up because you didn't put a seed out there somebody else's blessing is held up as far as project ideas because you didn't give any ideas recently to people who could benefit you see We're sowing seed in all sorts of ways. Somebody wants to be serviced, but when was the last time that you volunteered your service? Somebody wants their wife or their husband to meet their needs, but when was the last time that you went up to them to meet their needs? And maybe it didn't involve a bedroom. Just simply clean out a garage or (laughs) dust, vacuum, cook. So we need some individuals, come on, to trust in our almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Provide what it is that their heart desires. Mm, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone, someone wants their child to be educated at a college, a university, but the monies aren't there. So you ask the Lord to order your steps toward people who know where the monies are in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. (laughs) And someone else. You've got gorgeous assets. We're not talking about what men see. We're talking about the types of things that you've bought over the years that are stunning. But money is an issue. And the Lord is saying to release those items, to sell them so that you can take care of immediate needs. Hallelujah. Thank you, O Heavenly Father. There are those individuals who have been crying out to the Lord for a number of years, wanting some things to happen with regard to family, workplace, you name it. But there has been some static in the line, so to speak. When you're calling the Lord, you're not able to hear what he's saying because you're too busy 
telling them everything. It's a one-sided conversation. And the Lord says, I need you to be quiet. I need you to be quiet long enough to hear what I'm saying. And you keep coming to me and you keep coming to me, but I want you to show up. Yes, with prayers and thanksgiving, but then be quiet. Lord Jesus. Because your mouth is getting in the way of blessing. Woo, hallelujah. I said your mouth is getting away or getting in the way of blessing. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to the one true God. God is answering prayers. It doesn't matter when you have listened to this audio, how long ago it was recorded or how recent. The point is, is that God is answering prayers. Even when there is no answer, that is an answer. That is an answer. Well, I didn't receive anything because it's not time for you to do anything, but just wait. So go about your day, do what you typically do. And then one day, that aha moment. Mm, hallelujah. One day, oh, the idea, it's here. One day. Mm. Some folks are creatives. Music, art, entertainment. And sometimes you just don't get what you're after. Numbers and money and sponsors and all that. It's not as impressive as last year. Stop being so hung up on numbers. What's the worst case scenario? Numbers get so low that, oh, I got to find another way to make money. You see, don't worry over what man worries about. You give that over to the one true God and you leave it in his, in his hands, every burden. You leave it in his hands, hallelujah. And don't take it out. I'm trusting you, O oh Heavenly Father, with and you fill in the blank. And I'm not going to worry any longer about this. I know that you have worked things out many times before in my life. And I'm trusting in you that you will see me through again. In Jesus' name. You see? Simple, simple, not complex prayers. There's a need and you want God to fulfill it. There's gratitude, right? Thankfulness. But there may also be another need. And so there is the dialogue that takes place with the one true God. Mm, hallelujah. Someone else, you're dealing with marital woes. You're dealing with challenges from long ago. And it's hard to trust. It's hard to love. It's hard to even bring peace into the household. Because you know, once again, someone has disturbed the atmosphere by not doing what you've asked. I want you to give that over to the one true God right now. All of it. All of it this time. List every single thing about that marriage that you don't like, that you no longer want to handle on your own and watch what God is going to do in the coming weeks. And some things he'll do immediately. I'm a witness. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh Heavenly Father, for what you're about to do in every listener's life right now. Thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, for the people who are going to be healed. Hallelujah. Mentally, physically, spiritually, sexually. Thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, for those individuals mm -hmm, who are finally going to be courageous and step forward and speak truth to power on jobs. Oh, somebody's been fearful, worried, stressed. But God says, I will give you another job. But for right now, you've got to set the captives free. 
You've got to make those who are spiritually blind to see God's handiwork. And you are that handiwork. You didn't just come across that job. God, for a time, has used you. And he wants to use you some more. Let's get some work done, shall we? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, the desires of our heart. Yes. Yes, they're being answered. They're being answered. They're being answered. God says that you may not see it right now. But there is some work that is happening with the angels that are encamped all around you. Hallelujah. All over the world, we have individuals with these kind of prayers in various languages. We've got people who they pray for water on their lands. Others, they pray for things like more livestock. Others, they pray for things like new shoes. Others pray for a new bike. Mm, Lord Jesus, I'm seeing people from all over the world. There are those who pray that pains will go away in the fingers of their elders who sow much. They are the ones who make clothing. Mm. Individuals who have many babies and are frustrated to the point where all they do is cry. They're asking for some help. We're giving them spiritual help today. Lord Jesus, we're giving them spiritual help today because what is a man and what is a woman if they don't have God? Mm, Lord Jesus, what is a man? What is a woman if they don't have God? Mm, Lord Jesus, God wants to hear from you. Some people resist. Some people continue to go about doing whatever while they listen, but God wants you to stop and give those dramas and traumas of yesteryear over to him. Oftentimes we've talked about this sort of thing on that channel, on this channel. We've talked about family conflicts. We've talked about abusive spouse. We talked about cheating boyfriends and girlfriends. Mm. We've talked about people wayward in the faith, but yet they're trying to tell you what to do. And they don't even have God. We've talked about all sorts of family. But one thing we keep coming back to is draw near to the Lord and to stop putting family on a pedestal. To stop feeling obligated to do while you're re secretly resenting them. Yes, somebody is going to be free of that. When I say draw a line in the sand, I'm talking about established boundaries. No more. No more arguing, fussing, fighting with family members. Put up your white flag. If you got to even create one. <laughs> Put signs of peace all over your room. I have a, a store on this channel. I've also got another store called stillnessgifts.com. Surround yourself with peace to remind you that I'm not going to war with these people any longer. I've got things hung up around my room to keep me inspired. I've got a chair that's reserved for quiet, peace, relaxation. You see, there are things that we go to in times of distress but we want to have healthy things not comfort foods not things that have surgeon general warnings <laughs> not people who are toxic or comfort hallelujah comes from the one true God so get centered in him every day for at least five, ten minutes, just give honor and praise to the Lord. 
He's not asking for much. He just says that there are those individuals that he wants to stop using techno technological devices for just five, ten minutes and give honor and praise and take all the burdens over to him on a regular basis and watch what God does. Not when I feel like it. The move of the spirit will even usher you into prayer. That happens to me. It's like a clock inside your body. Oh, it's time for God. And then you're doing some type of godly activity. You see. We disconnect from the world and we get connected to the one true God. And that's what you're doing in this very moment. I want to connect with the Lord. Someone say that. Let the Holy Spirit come upon you right now. Jesus. Dios, peace come upon you right now. Some are lying down, ready to fall asleep. Others are taking a break to relax in you, to rest in you, giving glory and honor to you, O Heavenly Father, recognizing that you made sun, you made moon, stars, galaxies, recognizing that you made the grounds that we walk, that we drive on, mm, Lord Jesus, that we're riding on. God is a good God. God is a good God. He loves you so. God is a good God. He loves you so. He loves you so. He loves you so. God is a good God. He loves you so. Rest in Him. I thank you as always for taking time out to listen. You've been listening to YouTube, Inom Enterprise 7. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and we do welcome giving on this channel. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings to you.